hello YouTube and Facebook people welcome back to my videos today's video is technically day one of vlogmas that's a lot of commitment that's 25 days in a row of videos I'm not sure I'm ready for that kind of commitment um, but I kind of want to at least upload more for the month of December I'll participate to the best of my abilities that's what I will promise so this first video is going to be a little bit of a haul, a little bit of a vlog. Um, I personally really enjoyed my last video, you know, that one that was like 42 minutes long. I like the longer ones, but maybe that's just me. Maybe people hate them and you go crazy watching me for 42 minutes. I completely understand if that's the case. Um, we're going to try and meet somewhere in the middle, you know, the shorter the video the less time it takes to edit and that was my number one reason for not wanting to do vlogmas um, what's easier than editing a video not filming a video but we're not gonna do that we're gonna put in some effort here um, so I guess to start out with this is the vlog portion of it I have a few business upgrades that I want to show you well at least one there's one big business upgrade that I want to show you guys so if you didn't watch my last video or even if you did let me recap um, the last video was the list everything challenge Emily Conway and Yaakov Benz I said it right that time so I wanted to join into that but I didn't have a death pile and then over the last two weeks I got a huge death pile which I intentionally did you don't know what the future holds you don't know if businesses are gonna close down so I've been really kicking butt at the Goodwill outlet aka the bins I go to the one in Colorado Springs um, and so I had I had clothing in my bedroom in the laundry room in my kitchen like I had just the normal size totes full no lids it was all just overflowing and full and I was going crazy and I'm sure Chad was going crazy he's just too nice to say anything so I made an upgrade I'm gonna flip you around and show you what I've done I would lift it up and show you but I ain't strong enough okay so here is my upgrade I purchased four of these big totes I want to say they were just under $20 I purchased them at Walmart they are this sterilite 50 gallons um, extra strong design which is nice I was a little hesitant I didn't see this picture at first but I was a little hesitant to stack them because this is a lot of weight um, I think I fit 50 pounds into the 50 gallons so as far as stacking these do really really good um, these are both plum full and they stack nice there's no like bowing in it so it's it's good um, and then let's see I'll give you the dimensions it's 40 by 22 and an eighth by 18 and an eighth so they are pretty big I will say they have an option that has wheels on them but you pay up for that um, I don't need wheels I have Chad to help me move these around so if you don't have a Chad maybe consider getting the ones with the wheels so I also have two of these totes in my bedroom they are plum full as well um, I really stocked up like I am set for the zombie apocalypse there'll be zombies busting in my window and I will still have inventory to list so here is my very long-winded plan a few months ago my listing goal was about 75 items per week and I was doing pretty good I was listing that I was hitting that number and then I was struggling to find stuff to actually source when I was going to the bins so like on a good day I would get 50 items that I could list for the week on a bad day I would get 30 items that I could list for the week so for me that changed a few things normally when I go to the bins I like to be really really picky and like if it's not gonna put $30 in my pocket after all the fees like I wasn't really picking it up but as the world's changing and as the pickings become like real sparse at the bins I figured maybe I need to be incorporating more bread and butter brands into my closet um, there's nothing wrong with bread and butter I was just lucky enough that I didn't have to pick it up like I was picking up some really good stuff but my lucky streak has come to an end and here we are <laughs> so my plan is to only have a death pile that can fit into these four bins I'm not gonna pick up any more than that because I don't want chaos in my house as you look behind me and see chaos um, because I wasn't sure how I'm supposed to ration out this clothes like I did <laughs> on the bottom of my little notes here I have well if I list 35 if I list 50 how long is this stuff gonna last me 
Well, now that I have two more full totes, I am comfortable listing 50. Like that was my higher end to try and ration things out. So I'm going to be doing 50 items. So in this haul and every other haul coming soon, I will show you 50 items that I picked up at the bins and then I'm going to wash them and list them and get them up. So I would love to give you guys a video of like 50 bolo brands in every haul, but that's not the case. Um, in these totes is 171 items. Most of them are bread and butter brands. There's absolutely nothing wrong with selling bread and butter brands. Um, actually, I think it is good to see what styles of bread and butter you should be picking up. There are definitely some styles that do better than others, and that's not just bread and butter, that's even your bolo brands. So I'm just gonna grab 50 pieces out of here. I am gonna kind of grab between like sweaters, jackets, tops, and jeans. That way there's a little bit of everything going up and it's not just gonna be 50 pairs of jeans. That'll keep it a little more interesting for the haul videos and it'll keep it a little bit more interesting for me that has to list all of this stuff. So I'm going to, are we gonna do the haul video right here? I was gonna set you up in the laundry room so we could have a pretty background, but you've already seen my messy background, so what the heck, let's go ahead and haul it right here. Okay, so here's a glimpse of the totes open. Like it is, like I said, plum full to the top. Um, sorry, I'm giving you a look of my messy counter. There's all my vegetables. The sweet potato had me cracking up earlier. Dobby is a free potato. <laughs> if you get it, you get it. If not, you just think I'm crazy. <laughs> um, anyway, moving on. I'm gonna go ahead and just randomly grab 50 pieces, throw them on the floor, so that way I can use this as a table as I show you everything. And that's Bella over there sleeping. Okay, I went and picked out 50 items. There was actually only 53 items in this tote, so there's three items left in here, but I'm gonna save those for the next batch. We are only gonna do the 50. So I'm gonna go through this haul really, really fast. If I see anything that I think is like notable and you should know, I'll let you know. If not, we're just gonna get through it because we got 50 items to show you. This first thing I picked up is the brand Ivy Park. It's a size medium. Comps on these look pretty decent. They were like 35 and up. This one does have a little bit of cracking going on, so I might have to take a little bit lower, but it is this really nicely made hoodie. Next is the brand Weatherproof. This one's a size extra, extra large. I really liked the chunky knit on this, and I liked the oatmeal color. This is one of my favorite colors for sweaters. Next is a brand that you might want to add to your Bolo brands. This one is Eileen West, size medium. This is my first time even hearing about this, but I looked up comps, and for a nightgown like this one, they were going for around $50. Um, I picked it up because I just thought it was really cute, but it looks like it sells for decent money. This next one is by the brand Saturday Sunday. It's a size large. This one sold at Anthropology, and it is a cream colored with all these different textures. So really cute jacket. Next is a brand that I don't think I've ever picked up. It's Ari and it's a size extra small, but I really loved the style of this. Cream, chunky, loose knit sweater with the drop shoulder. I am all about that. Next is not exactly winter weather, but I liked it a lot. This one is a Vans medium slim fit and it's this baseball style tee, black sleeves with a white body and then it has the big logo on the back. Next is Lucky Brand. This one is a size extra large, and I really just liked how basic this one is. It goes with a lot of things. Um, it's this duster length. Is it duster length? It goes about to my mid thigh. Um, it's an open cardigan, and it has pockets on it. So that one is a really nice basic piece. This next one is Columbia Women's Size Large, and it is a ski jacket. I just really liked the color on this. So it's two different shades of pink, and it's got white, and just the color blocking is really nice and on style. So there's that. Next is this Columbia Men's Size Extra Large. It's this navy blue puffer vest, full zip. Um, I picked this one up because of the filling in it. It was really nice. Um, typically, like the cheaper ones will just have polyester in them, but this one has 60% down and 40% feather. Next is a pair of vintage Ozark Mountain, and these are one of my favorite styles to pick up. These ones are a pair of mom jeans. They have the high waist and they are tapered. Um, I also like that these have 
this um, stitch in them, like that V, I think that's really popular. Next is a brand that I've never picked up to resell, but I am excited to try it. Um, these ones are a pair of Joe's jeans and they're size 28. They are like a dark blue black wash, but I really liked the style of them. Um, I like the cuffed hem and I really like the pockets on these. I think that's a really cool detail. Next is Columbia. These are a men's size 32 and they are a pair of corduroy cargo pants. And I believe these are just a straight leg. So if you've seen in other videos, I like to pick up the brand Carrots. It's an equestrian brand. Um, these ones are not carrots, but I thought I'd give them a try because they are for horse riding. I'm not sure exactly what that says. The riding's a little too fancy, but they are just a pair of riding pants. These ones are a size extra large and they have like the built-in extra sturdy inner legs. And it also has Velcro on the hems so you can tighten it to where you need it to be in case you didn't know how Velcro worked. Next, I didn't mean to pick these up. I thought they were Levi's, but these ones are actually Gap and they are a size eight regular, but they are in really, really good condition. Like they're like new condition. So I still think they'll do okay. These next ones I picked up on style. They are the brand Ollie. I wanna say these are more like a size two, but I really liked the pattern on them. I like the flannelly green and purple. They do need sweater shaved. As you can see, there's some peeling, but I also like that they have like these stirrups on them um, to keep your pants down. I have no idea why people used to wear these, but I think it's a cool style. Next is the brand Majestic. This one is a size extra large. It's vintage and it says Green Bay Packers sweatshirt. And I like that it has this green turtleneck with it, like very fancy. Next is another brand that I haven't heard of. It's Danielle Kroll, but it was made especially for anthropology. This one is a size extra large. Um, it's this white t-shirt. I almost passed it up, but then I really gave it a look and it's the, uh, I will never in my life remember what this word is called. It's got like your birthday months and then it has the signs that go with it. Uh, I think it's gonna do pretty good. This next one I picked up for style. The brand is Nicole Miller, New York. It's a size large, so there's the tag. And it is this black jean jacket, fully lined, but I picked it up because it looked like a marching band jacket. Um, it reminded me of the jacket from the Chemical Romance video, which I thought was really cool. This might be one of those items that I price really high and then keep it when it doesn't sell. Next is a pair of vintage Adidas. These are a size extra large. The tag had a little damage to it, but it's okay. Um, and they are a pair of track pants. They're like the swishy kind. Um, I put that in the listing so people know. I think people search for the swishy track pants. Um, but yeah, they are blue with a white stripe and they are a jogger style. Um, this next one is a brand that I've never picked up for reselling, but I heard once upon a time in a video long, long ago, Jody at Jody Matoma's videos mentioned that he likes to sell the brand Echo. So I picked it up because Jody sells it. Um, it's an Echo size extra large and they are a pair of men's joggers. Um, they're like new, like they feel like they're new and there's no fading. And it's kind of like a moto style on the legs and then it is a jogger. So it has like all of the cool features that people are looking for. Next is by the brand Gap and it is a size small and it's this really cool like denim chambray shirt. It's got the zip in the back and all of the hems are raw. Next is a brand that I've never heard of. It's L&B Lucky and Blessed. It's a high rise ankle skinny size six. There's the tag and then on the back it has the little leather patch. Um, I didn't look up comps. I didn't have time to look up comps but I really liked the style. High rise skinny always does good. And then I like that it has this seam down the middle of the front and the back. And then the coolness just keeps on going because it's got some embroidery on the ankle. So we'll see how that does. Next is another brand that I don't pick up to resell, but I really liked the style. This is a Hollister size 13 and they are the low rise cropped boyfriend. Um, anything boyfriend, I feel like just automatically does better. It does have a button fly and it has distressing on the front and back and then it has the rolled cuffs. 
Next is a pair of Levi's. These are the 712 Slim, size 32, and these ones are in a light gray color. Next is another pair of Levi's. These ones are in S37 Slim. I don't exactly know what the S stands for. Should I know what that stands for? But they are a pair of distressed jeans. I really like my distressed jeans. Next is another pair of mom jeans, and these ones are also black. And these ones are a vintage Liz Claiborne classic fit, size 12 regular. Um, if you know vintage, you know that a 12 is actually not a 12, and most likely it's more of like a four or a six, but they are the high rise tapered legged. So I don't usually pick up kids clothes. I don't really know anything about kids or their clothing, but I picked up this full zip jacket. It's the brand Nike. It's a size large and it was in like mint condition. So it has the Nike on the front and then it has the Nike on the shoulder. Next is a champion sweater. This one's a size small. It's black and white and kind of heathered together. Um, nothing too special. It's just a long sleeve shirt sweater. So this next one is something that you should have on your bolo list. Um, this one is Ralph Lauren, but this one is the black label. The black and the purple labels sell for the most money. This one's a size large, and not only is it black label, but it is also 100% cashmere, which is like extra fancy. So it is just this simple oatmeal colored vest. And I wasn't sure if this was men's or women's, but just now I saw that it has the little straps for your bra strap so it doesn't show. So this is for a woman. Super, super nice. I think that this is going to do really good. So next, this is probably one of my favorite pieces from this haul. The brand is CT. I've never heard of it. Size extra large, but I just loved the colors and I love the texture. I don't think you'll fully be able to appreciate the texture on this thing, but it is like the traditional Kuji um, sweatshirts. Like it's really textured. So I have really high hopes for this one doing good. Next, this one is just an American Eagle. It's a size extra large, but it is a little bit fancier of American Eagle. It has these metallic sleeves that are really cute. Next is another shimmery one. This one is Onyx Night by Wendy Chatine, made in USA. I'm not sure if I'm saying her name right, but this thing is gorgeous. Um, the size tag was ripped out, but I feel like this would fit a uh, extra small, small. It's so shimmery and it's on the back. So nice. <laughs> This next one is really beautiful too. It's a vintage Liz Claiborne dresses, size 10. Like, just look at the print on this. The colors are gorgeous. Um, so it's a short sleeve button up dress and it has the shoulder pads, which I actually kind of like. Um, and then there's the belt that it comes with. But man, it's so nice. Like there's the buttons. Just the detail in this and like the belt is so gorgeous just on its own but the way it contrasts against the dress oh it's nice next is just a lululemon this one's a black long sleeve and it has a bunch of texture i almost missed that it was lululemon um, but chad was able to see with his brand new lasik eyeballs <laughs> he was able to see this little tiny stitch on there Next is just the brand Columbia. This one's a women's size small. Um, I typically don't pick up all Columbia, but like stuff like this that's in like new condition. And this one's like a thicker base layer. Stuff like that I'll pick up because I feel like this is a basic piece that people are looking for. Next is the brand Free People. This one is a size large. Um, it does have quite a bit of wash wear to it, but I did pick it up because of the pattern. I like that it is a camo t-shirt. Next is a brand that I've never picked up before. This one is Boss, Hugo Boss. Um, I have no idea what comps on these are like, but I picked it up and it just felt like really high quality. Um, the outside feels like wool, but it is fully lined and like everything about this just feels like quality. So I'm hoping the comps on these are pretty decent. Next is the brand Under Armour. This one is a size small and it is like this turtleneck, cowl neck. Um, is it black? No, I think it's gray. It's like a charcoal gray and then it has the black logo on it. Really nice. It feels like it's new. 
This next one is a brand that I've actually stopped picking up. It just sits in my closet. I, I can't sell it. Um, it's a White House Black Market, size 8. And you're probably thinking, well, why did you pick it up if it doesn't sell? Well, that's because I thought it was really cool. So it's kind of like a short trench coat and I'm not really holding it well for you to be able to see how cool it is there we go so it does have that ruffle detail and then it has the belt that comes with it I just think it's a really cute style so I'm hoping that that one does sell next is another brand that I typically don't pick up this one is a loft outlet size medium but I picked this one up because it totally reminded me of Chanel so it's an open cardigan and it has, I don't want to say it's a raw hem, but like it has these ruffly, fluffies. <laughs> I don't know, but it had like major Chanel vibes. So this next one also gave me Chanel vibes. This one's like Chanel meets the Joker. Um, the brand is That's Me. Um, that's some choice of a name for your company. Um, it's a size 910, but again, it's vintage, so it might fit a little smaller. I always put measurements with every single one of my listings just to make sure. It is this green and purple, feels like wool, fully lined um, blazer. It sits at the top of your waist, so it is a little bit cropped, but I think it's really cool, and I actually think that this is going to do good. Next is another buttery brand. This one is Columbia, men's size large. Um, it's like an army green, hunter green. I don't know my colors. It's green. <laughs> and it is the titanium model. But I really liked this one because it has this shoulder pocket, which I think makes it look like it's a higher end brand. But again, really excellent condition. Normally when you find fleeces at the bins, they're like worn really, really thin. But this one is super thick still and it feels like it's new. Next is one of my favorite brands to pick up. This one is a Woolrich. It's a size men's large and it's like gray and blue pinstriping. Um, it's really nice, super, super thick. So button up and it has the two button pockets. Next is a brand that I've never in my life picked up to resell. It's the brand Rue 21. These are a size medium. I picked them up because they are new with tags and also because of the style. Um, I think these are really, really cute. So there's like a little daisy embroidered on them and they are super soft, but they are also a jogger pant. So this next one, I'm not sure that I should have picked up. The brand is Athletic Works. These are a size large. I want to say that this is just sold at Walmart, but these do feel like they are new. They are a pair of navy blue joggers, and they have a really cool stripe going down the side. Um, so there's the jogger. They do have pockets. Um, maybe somebody will bundle these and purchase them. I'm not sure. This next one is the brand Nike. It is a size large. Um, I didn't notice that it had a flaw until just now or else I wouldn't have picked it up because it is a little bit heavier. Um, there is a little bit of like bleach marks. They are tiny, but like there's nothing you can do about bleach marks. Maybe I can tie dye bleach this. Um, I'm not sure, but it does have the really big spell out of Nike and it's like that really smooth material. So I liked that. I don't know. We'll see what happens with it. Next is a pair of Levi's. These are the Super Low Boot Cuts 518s. Um, and it's just a pair of light wash boot cut Levi's. Next is another pair of Levi's. These are the 517. They are size 32, 32. And these are just a regular boot cut. So those last ones I believe were women's. These ones are a men's Levi and they are a darker wash. Okay, we're down to the last two items. This next thing is a little bit out of season. It's cabby, size 12, and they are a pair of shorts, but they are really nice shorts. These are like a thicker cotton, and I really like the green color. Okay, the last thing in this haul, this one is the brand ELF, A-L-F. This one's a size large. Um, if you know the brand Cool, K-U-H-L, it's a higher end mountainy brand. It sells really good. Um, this is actually, the beginning of cool before cool was cool it used to be elf so they no longer make this stuff anymore so they are known for like this type of pattern on their things um this one is just a sweatshirt it's like a purpley blue color but i really like i think it's cute i think it'll do good 
That's everything for this week's haul. If you saw anything you're interested in, feel free to visit my Poshmark closet at Valamilk. It'll be linked down below. Also, also linked down below is my Instagram. It's my personal page. Also, also, also linked down below is the Facebook group, Seven Sticks Reselling Group. That's a tongue twister, but it's linked down below as well. If you want to join every Monday, we have a Zoom call. Come get motivated, share your ideas. If you have questions, we are more than happy to answer them. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and click all the links that are down below. Uh, yeah, that's everything for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.